Here's so how I can make this motion blur effect here in Photoshop. I'm going to go with this model as a reference, press Ctrl J to duplicate the layers. Let's go and click on remove background. It doesn't need to be perfect. And let's go and select the model with the removed background, right click, convert to smart object. And we're going to go to the filter. Let's go to blur gallery and select path blur. And as you can see, we got this arrow pointing on the right. You also can stretch it to make it longer. And this eventually is going to stretch the blur as well. So you can increase the speed. I'm going to go all the way up. But as you can see, the blur is going in both directions. So I'm going to go here to the center blur and uncheck the box. So now the blur is going only at the direction where the arrow is pointing. And you also can go to this little circle here and bend the blur. Now, as you can see, the blur is only going till here and it's stopping. So in order to expand it even more, you can go here to the edit blur shapes. Make sure to check the box. And here you got like two more red arrows that appeared. So I'm going to go to the right arrow and select this little circle and expand it. And as you can see, the wave is starting to go all the way out. You also can bend it. And I'm going to go select this here and just modify. You also can stretch this blur as well. If you want, you also can add another line by clicking somewhere and bring the cursor wherever you like. And this way you create another one and you can go and create longer ones. But I'm going to stop here and I'm going to click on this little circle until you can see this little icon. And now it stops. And this way you can customize it, move it wherever you like, and then create some new effects. If you don't like one of the arrows, you can select them and press on delete and it's going to delete it instantly. After you're done, you can click OK. And if you don't like some of the areas, you can select the smart filter here, select the brush tool, make sure that you're on the black. And this way you can remove some of the effects. You also can press Ctrl J on the layer to duplicate and then increase the opacity to have a more intense blur. Let's go to the adjustments, hue saturation. I also going to increase the saturation a little bit more switch up the colors eventually and have some fun. And pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.